So, using the wiggler, as you can see, I have the disc um, attachment installed in the holder at this stage. And I've roughly aligned it so that the uh, disc itself will make contact with the edge of the workpiece. The mill will be set to run at around about 1000 RPM. Anything too high and the attachment will very quickly disappear across the workshop, so do keep the speed down. So we will start the mill and then we'll move the table across until the uh, wiggler starts to make contact. As you can see at this point the wiggler is doing as its name suggests and wiggling quite profusely. As we move the table across and the disc starts to make contact the wiggle will start to abate to the point where it's almost still. Now I continue on now moving the table very slowly to the point at which it breaks away. And that is the point at which I will now zero my x-axis. Now what I'll also do after zeroing it is move the table a further 1.45mm, which is half the diameter of the disc, to compensate. OK, and we'll now reset the x-axis. So the centre of the spindle is now directly above the edge of the workpiece. And I will now do the same for the y-axis. OK, setting the y-axis. As we can see, the wiggler again is set up now against the back face of the workpiece. I will advance the table and we will see the wiggler starts to settle. And now very slowly, we are looking for the break point again. There we go. We can now go back and reset the y-axis to zero. Compensate for the half the diameter of the disc, 1.45 millimeters in my case. And reset. I can now move the x-axis back to the zero. And now the centre of the spindle is directly above the top right corner or the back right corner of the workpiece. 